Well, these videos have been popping up recently in my YouTube shorts, so I am going to analyze one of them as a private pilot. So don't take anything that I say, like, too seriously, because I am just a private pilot. I don't know too much, but I do know a little bit. Gentlemen, this plane is landing right now in Grand Canary with a crosswind, a very heavy crosswind. But basically, guys, this is a crosswind landing, which is one of the hardest landings you can ever do as a pilot. You see, the runway is actually in front of us, but the plane looks like it's going like crooked. You see that? That's because of the wind. And we're going to be landing really crooked with, with this angle you see in the belly of the plane. Because originally, the front wheel you see right there should be aligned with the runway, but it's crooked because of the crosswind. You see, and when we get close to the runway, we use the rudders to align, touch down, but then, but then, it all goes wrong right here. It all goes wrong right here, and we can continue flying there. So we gotta, we gotta screen ourselves up right here. I don't know if that was a, was that, was that a tail strike? It looks like a tail strike, and boom, we're back on the runway, in the middle. There we go. Well, there there's a lot to unpack here. Um, basically, I think this guy has like a there's a video game or something that's got pretty realistic graphics, so that's what he's pulling it from. When he said that a crosswind landing is one of the most difficult landings, in my opinion, I don't think crosswind landings are that bad. It's gusting crosswinds that are bad. So when you have a crosswind landing, all you need to do is push on your rudder, and you'll make yourself straight with the runway. So you can just land. It's almost a normal landing. It's when those gusts are happening that throw you off and you have to correct for those and land straight. And yes, the plane will look like it's going crooked, but you don't want to straighten up till um, before you touch down. So they'll just fly sideways essentially because the air is all moving this way. So the airplane's not flying straight towards the runway. It's flying towards the runway, but it has to keep moving through the air because it's trying to push it the other way. So yes the plane will look like it's sideways coming in for land don't land crooked just use the rudder to straighten yourself he landed crooked he didn't use enough rudder okay this this part's a little cringy um when, <laughs> if something like that happens you should immediately go full power and do a go around so if for any reason a pilot is not able to stick the landing on the first try, all they need to do is go full power and they'll come in for a loop for a second landing. He should not go anywhere near the amount off the runway that he went to. That is, that's not good. That's all I have to say about that. Buddy, I think a tail strike is the least of your worries right there. That's, that's not the middle of the runway. <laughs> I'm just glad he's a pilot on YouTube and not a pilot in real life because that that's that's a very budget airline right there if he's a pilot. Anyway, that's my review of this channel or of this one video on the channel. His whole channel has so many mistakes and everything. Either he's a person who just wants to put videos on the internet and become famous or he's a pilot who makes goofy videos that are things that you're not supposed to do just because he can. I don't know which one it is. But anyway, that's my opinion, and have a good night, or day, or evening, or whatever time it is. I hope it's going good.